In this tutorial, I'll use the Blender game engine to make a simple application for experimenting with the equation force equals mass times acceleration. Initially, both cubes have the same mass and will have the same force applied to them. But one of the cubes, you can alter the mass and alter the force, and then when you apply the force, you see the resultant acceleration. Change the render to Blend again. Drag to make the properties window wider and click the physics button. Change the physics type of the default cube to rigid body and tick no sleeping. Click the object button, set the Y location of the cube to 1.5, set the Z location to 2, duplicate the cube Hold down shift and press D and enter. Set the Y location of the duplicate to minus 1.5. And I'm going to name the duplicate cube vary because we'll vary its properties. Add mesh plane. Press S to scale 10 and enter. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Click the render button and click start. Press escape. In the view menu, align view, align active camera to view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Click on the line of the rectangle to select the camera. Press G to grab Z and Z again. Drag with the mouse to move the camera back. Change the layout to game logic and change the view to the camera view. Select the cube, drag to close the properties panel, add a keyboard sensor, an OR controller and a motion actuator. Click on key and press the left shift key. Set the X force on the cube to 10 and connect those up. You should give meaningful names to logic bricks, especially before closing them up. Close up the logic brick, add another keyboard sensor. I'm going to give them the option of pressing either shift key. Connect that one up. Select the original cube, hold down shift and select the duplicate. In the object menu, go to Game, Copy Logic Bricks. Start the game engine and press the shift key. Now that's not the motion that I want. Press escape. I forgot to set the collision bounds. Select one of the cubes, drag to make the properties window wider and click the physics button, scroll down and tick collision bounds, select the other cube and tick collision bounds, click the add new scene by type button, add a new scene, call the new scene HUD for head up display, add lamp hemi, click the object properties button and set the Z height to 5, Add camera, set its Z height to 5, click its object data properties and set it to orthographic. Add text and change the view to the camera view. Go into edit mode, change the text to force. Back into object mode, I press the tab key, scroll down and set the size of the text to 0.3. Click the material button, click the add new material button. Now I'm going to make the text magenta by setting in the diffuse color the green to zero. Drag on the tips of the arrows to move the text into the bottom left hand corner. Duplicate the text, Shift D and Enter. 
drag on the tip of the red arrow to move the duplicate just past halfway, tab into edit mode and change the text to mass, tab into object mode, duplicate, shift D and enter, tip of the red arrow to move the duplicate back, tab into edit mode and change the text to 10, tab into object mode, click the object properties button and I will give this text object a meaningful name, text force, click the plus to open up the properties panel, click the add text game property button, this creates a property called text, you can't change the name of the property but you can change its type and I'll change it to integer, add mesh plane, tab into edit mode, select a top vertex, hold down shift, select the other top vertex, alt and M to merge, at center, press G to grab, Y for the Y direction, minus one and enter, tab into object mode, press S to scale, point one and enter, I'm going to give the widget a meaningful name, up force. Drag on the tips of the arrows to place the up arrow. Click the material button and select the magenta material. Drag to close the properties panel. Add two mouse sensors and set the second one to mouse over, add a message actuator, if I directly connect the sensor to the actuator an AND controller is automatically created, connect up the second mouse sensor and set the subject of the message to up force. What do we want to change in response to the broadcasting of the message? Well, this text that displays the value of the force should change. Select it, add a message sensor and a property actuator. Now, when it senses a message, the subject of which is up force, we want it to send a signal through to the actuator so that it adds one to the text forces property text. To test that, click the render button, change blender render to blend again, and start the game engine. Now by default, we don't get the mouse pointer. Press escape, scroll down, and in the display panel, tick mouse cursor, scroll back up, start the game engine, Click on the up arrow and the text should change. Changing the text will not change the value of the force applied to the cube. To change that, we need to go back to the original scene, select the cube, click the plus to open up the properties panel, add a game property which I'll call force, and I'll set its initial value to 10. Drag to close the properties panel, Give the logic brick a meaningful name, right shift, and close that up. Add a message sensor and a Python controller. And when this sensor senses a message up force, we want it to run some Python script to change the value of force. In the text editor window, in the templates menu, select Python Game Logic Simple. Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar and change the name of the script to Up Force and link that to the Python controller. We don't need a reference to the sensor. We do need a reference to the actuator but the actuator is called motion. Control C to copy it and Control V to paste. We don't need the if statement, delete that. 
the script will only create a reference to the actuator only if it is connected to the Python controller. So make sure they're connected. Press the tab key to indent. Indentation is critical in Python. Now this line creates a reference to the owner of the Python controller, which is the cube. The cube has a property force which we must put inside square brackets and single quotes. Now every time the upforce message is received we want to take the value of force and add one to it and the plus equals operator does that. All motion actuators also have a property force but unlike the gain property force that we added to the cube it consists of three values an x, a y and a z value so we have to have in square brackets three values the x value we will take from the gain property force control C to copy control V to paste and the other values we want to be zero to test the script we need to add the head up display as an overlay scene to do that I'm going to add an empty object with plain axes drag on the tip of the green arrow to move the empty to the side add an always sensor and a scene actuator change the mode of the scene actuator to add an overlay scene select the head up display scene and connect those up in this scene by default the mouse cursor will not be displayed so scroll down and tick mouse cursor scroll up and start the game engine and click the up arrow to increase the value of the force press shift to apply the force and the cube has a greater force applied to it I'm going to call that the end of part one of the tutorial I will finish the application in part two